death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well... That night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on, the chains break. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Senua's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. You come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows. 
hopes that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! You want to believe it. Is he there? not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. You so won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial Mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver. Senua, you remind me of a story that the... Senua, 
You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior, Senua. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She is a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword. Tirving. for the trials, like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Did you hear that? Nothing. What's that voices? What's that music? Don't voices? touch the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. <gasps> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think. way. Think. 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 Focus. It's not him. him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. Father? 
I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Go on. Delia. Find a way. 
I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Good. Let's reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. There's no escaping the past in this place. And so she's forced to relive There is a house. To what end? I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forward.
there's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. This is the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out. Do this anyway. as well. Don't turn back. Getting close. Tell you. Help me. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Before you could be fooled again, but you're being tested. No, you don't know. It's just their game for you. We never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise.
He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go to see. The mask. See. Stay back. Don't touch it. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire. Nobody will let me know. 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 Nobody will let me know.
Dillian, there he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go for him. Dillian, don't lose him. Too many times. He's always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick, where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the tree. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The world once seemed so simple, black and white, darkness and light, narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. You can't get her like no one else has. Dillian's the only reason she's still alive. to the things you love. she really was. He saw the warrior with
He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. your love because he believed in you. Look what 
The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents. was the only one that didn't mind the curse. He loved us. Dillian saved you from them. Remember Dillian? What do you remember? Do you remember the sound of his voice? 